Hello all, I, Ms. Pradna Burmani, Assistant Professor in the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science of ASSS IOIT. Welcome you all. Today, we are discussing about fault tolerance and recovery in distributed system. So what is fault tolerance? So fault tolerance is the ability of a system to continue operate as intended even in the event of failure is known as a fault tolerance. So before uh, saying the types and the phases, we'll see what are the fault. So there are three types. One is the transient, second is the intermittent, third is the permanent. What is transient fault? These faults occur temporarily and disappear after a short period. And these are uh, these caused by the environmental conditions. Once those conditions are removed, the system returns to its normal operation. Next, we have intermittent. This fault occurs irregularly and are often difficult to reproduce or predict. Uh, they may cause because of the unstable hardware conditions because of some temperature variations or timing issues or even with sometimes software box so as they can appear or disappear without any apparent reasons third we have is the permanent so these faults persist until they are repaired can be because of the physical damage. Once this fault occurs, it affects the system operation until that faulty component is replaced or repaired. So these are the three types of faults. Next we have the phases. So here you can see in the diagram, one is the fault, first is the fault detection then diagnosis, evidence generation, assessment and recovery. So this is the basis of fault tolerance and distributed system. Then we will see the types of fault tolerance. First hardware, second software and third is the system. So what exactly the hardware fault tolerance? So it involves keeping a backup plan for the hardware devices like CPU, like uh, memory, hard disk or any other peripheral devices. So this is a type of fault tolerance that does not examine the faults and runtime errors but can only provide the hardware backup. Second is the software. So this is a type of fault tolerance where uh, the software dedicated software which is used in order to detect the invalid output runtime and programming errors. The software fault tolerance uh, consists of the additional data points like recovery rollback or checkpoints. The next we have is the system fault tolerance. So this is a type of fault tolerance which consists of a complete system or a whole system so what advantage we have here is the it not only stores the checkpoint but also the memory block and program checkpoints uh, detecting the errors in the application is automatic if the system encounters any type of fault or error it does provide the required mechanism for the solution so we can say that this is a more reliable than the two other types. Next we have is the recovery. So what is recovery? Is the ability of a system to recover from any type of faults or failures and continue operating in a consistent reliable manner. So some key points or we can say strategies are replication and redundancy checkpointing, a rollback recovery, 
protocols and logging and auditing. Thank you.